the uh, domestic side of the details, so you'll be able to share more about it. But the general came to us and asked uh, for a couple thousand thank you cards because he wants to send a lot of grat gratitude out across the nation from Afghanistan. So we put our crafters to work. I called in our special forces and requested a small band of people to focus exclusively on thank you cards and was shocked by the fact that in about a month these ladies created over 3,000 thank you cards. They were absolutely amazing. And knowing that the general has a thing for penguins, and general, if you want to do a short explanation of the penguin story, I'm I want to hear the penguin story now. You are going to want to hear why. Oh, I'm happy. <laughs> but a lot of these thank you cards had penguins on them for the general as a special token of appreciation for for everything that he does too. Okay, I've got to hear the penguin well, again, story. I, I, I not before we go that. anywhere else, I need <laughs> I need to know why the commanding general of NATO Air Command likes penguins. <laughs> and is it you in a penguin well. Sue, you know, the old tux, or what is it? Oh, no. I, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm proud to say that anybody who wants to Google up my time uh, at Grand Forks will see me proudly jumping into a uh, uh, a frozen uh, body of water, all in the name of charity in a good penguin suit. But my <laughs> love of penguins uh, <laughs> Interestingly, comes matter of fact, my staff has that picture hanging in our office, but that's a different story for a different day. Uh, my love of penguins actually comes from uh, a, a concept that was originally developed by uh, the late Randy Posh, um, who wrote the last lecture. And what Randy had done is, with all his class, with all his classes, he would, he created a uh, it was a celebration of risk taking award. So people who were willing to forge out a new territory, people who were willing to fail but in the way of positive progress. And his idea came from the fact that, you know, when you're a penguin, you're out there with all your other tens of thousands of penguin friends, uh, and someone's got to be the first penguin that's going to jump off that because when it's feeding time in the water, you don't know what's waiting for you down there. So the, the first penguin award is really this celebration of risk-taking for who's willing to go first. And, David, you'll remember that this whole notion of general leadership was put together around the original concept of leadership, which goes back to around the original flag bearers, uh, where the people who were in front of the army carrying the flag, they were the ones who went first. They were usually the lowest ranking, uh, but they were the ones that said, I'll do it. I'll carry the, the colors of our nation forward. So to be honest with you, the, the penguins to me are a symbolism of humanity at its best and that those who are willing to forge into uncommon or uncharted territory for the goal of doing something that hasn't yet been done, which is so fitting that we got on this topic on the night of creating <laughs> yeah. Well, that, no, that's a great story. I just want the picture of you in a penguin suit. <laughs> and, 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 that's a fair so point. Ray, Ray's looking for it right now, and if we find that, we'll put it out on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> so, and I want to see that, too. <laughs> Well, and Sandy, you, you brought up another. So the reason that we rallied the uh, the team, if you will, in the United States is the other part, David, that you and I, we talked about this some we were together in uh, Billy last week. Uh, the one thing about a handwritten card, as we know, is allows us to kind of reconnect at a more personal level. In an age of electronic everything, as wonderful as that can be, it certainly doesn't supplant or replace how special it is to get something that someone took a few minutes to personally write. I mean, then you have something tangible you can tuck in a favorite book, a drawer, or your Bible, whatever, wherever something you keep those special things. And so the notion was, for, you know, this is the longest war that our nation's ever fought. And for 13 years, amazing people like Sandy have been finding ways to reach out to those deployed and just remind them, that they're being, you know, that people are thinking about and praying for them, and then wanting to provide something tangible to keep them connected. So our notion that NATO Air Training Command Afghanistan is, what about if we mount the greatest reverse gratitude campaign that we've ever seen? And what we've done is we've picked uh, a number of organizations and people at random across all 50 states, and starting tomorrow, the entire cards have been distributed to the entire team, and we will collect those, and we will launch them to America in the next several weeks. And uh, it's a simple, just a simple way for us on behalf of all those who have deployed over the last 13 years to say, America, thank you. Your contribution, your kindness, your prayers 
has not gone unnoticed. Uh, and so it's our simple way of saying thank you. And, again, Sandy, you and your team have enabled something uh, that we hope will be very special to all of America. Well, it's amazing. It's an amazing project. There's just no other way to say it. Uh, what are, you know, let's, let's have a little fun with this. Sandy, some of the things that have been written 